Uh, hi everyone, uh, my name is Sam. I'm one of the zookeepers here at uh, Wild Zoological Park. Um, I'm also very fortunate to be the prehistoric expert here as well. So not only do I look after the animals, um, but also uh, just a very keen personal interest in everything prehistoric. Here at Wild, of course, we do have our amazing dinosaur show featuring our uh, four different species, that being our Velociraptors or, uh, or Utah Raptors, uh, Brachiosaurus, our Pterosaurs, and our Tyrannosaurus Rex. Of course, uh, also as having our dinosaur show, also we have got the real thing here at Wild as well. Uh, this is just a few samples of the different uh, prehistoric animals that we have here. Uh, I'm just going to give you a quick rundown of those for you today. And one of the oldest pieces here in our collection is one of our trilobites. Now this guy would have been living in the oceans up to hundreds of millions of years ago. And this uh, fossil here, this one in particular, this is the actual specimen himself. So this is the living creature that would be living around on the forest floor. These guys would have been filled to feed us, so feeding on small little microorganisms. And then of course the one on the left is the imprint it left on the rock. And going up in size right here, we've got, uh, this is a segment of a Mosasaurus. One of the most famous marine reptiles that ever lived. These guys were living in the oceans in the Cretaceous period. And of course, these teeth perfectly adapted to eating different types of fish. And of course, these guys, funnily enough, even though you may think of them as dinosaurs, they weren't actually dinosaurs. They were marine reptiles, but very, very similar. And then this one is another artifact that we have. This one is a mold of a claw from a dinosaur known as Deinonychus. Very similar to your avian type dinosaurs or your raptor like dinosaurs, this would have been on its center toe, sort of like a slashing claw. It's what you call a sickle claw. Now you actually can find many comparisons with birds, especially in modern day times. You can actually compare a lot of what we know about dinosaurs with modern day birds. So you can come down to uh, here at Wild Zoological Park and not only can we make those links between the dinosaurs that came before and of course all the birds that we have here as well that you can see during our uh, free flight bird show. Again, we fly different species of bird of prey like your raptors. They are direct ancestors to animals who would have had this claw. So right here, we have got a sculpt or a replica of a real fossil that was discovered out in Mexico. This is the sculpt of a skull of an animal called Smilodon. Uh, also very, uh, also commonly known as the saber-toothed cat. These guys were living out in South America roughly around about 10 million years ago. The reason that saber-toothed cat here actually went extinct is because it actually suffered from its own success. Saber-toothed cats or Smilodon were a specialist hunter. These guys were big, stocky animals, large teeth. They were built for bringing down big, large prey. And of course, they became so successful, they were outcompeting other predators. They became the dominant predator in South America, stretching all the way up to North America, to the extent where those prey items then became more little and little and little, till the only little, the only thing running around out in South America at that point would have been fast moving gazelle. And at that point, the saber toothed cats literally would not be able to catch those types of food. They'd be way too fast. And as a result, Smilodon died out. So that was just a small uh, collection of our prehistoric samples that we have here at Wild. Uh, again, we are looking forward to seeing you and you're more than welcome to come down to us here at Wild Zoological Park. You see our free flight bird show, see the ancestors of the raptors and the dinosaurs that came before all in free flight in our bird show. And of course, as well as our real fossils, we have also got our dinosaur show as well. So you guys can get an idea of what these dinosaurs were really like 65 million years ago. 